to find the remainder with four, the underlying concept is that you have to find uh, the remainder of the last two digits with four. So if M5 is leaving remainder one with four, then M can be two, 25, 45, 65, 85 and 05. All these values leave a remainder of uh, one with four. So five different possible values of M are there. Therefore, statement one is not sufficient. We don't have a unique answer. Come to statement two, remainder with 25. So see for 25 also, you have to find the last two digits only. You have to find the remainder with the last two digits only. The underlying concept is that, imagine a big number, you know, if you had something like this, 54, something like this, it can be written as something like this plus 54 so see this part becomes a multiple of 100 and therefore for any number which is a multiple of 100 sorry a factor of 100 such as 4 20 25 50 100 itself for all these numbers you just have to look at the last two digits to find the remainder because ultimately this entire part becomes a multiple of 100. It's a multiple of 100. So for all such numbers, the remainder is going to be zero only. The remainder is going to be confined in the last two digits. So for 25 also the same thing applies. If the remainder is five, that means M5 with 25 is giving a remainder of five. So there are two possibilities again, many will not look at this possibility of 0, 05. That's a very common mistake that you don't look at cases involving a zero. Be careful about that always on the GMAT. There are two possibilities. 55 is something that most students would be able to see, but this possibility is something that a lot of students will miss. So be careful. Two possibilities again, 0, 05 and 55. So M can have two different values, zero and five. Therefore, statement two is also not sufficient. Now we need to combine. On combining, we see that there is only one possible value that is satisfying both the cases, and that value is zero. Therefore, what is the value of M? On combining, we know that M is equal to zero. Combining led to a unique answer, and therefore the right answer choice here is option C.